Good evening, everyone. Um, not feeling too great, so it's just gonna be me today. Um, not really in the energy of really being around people currently. Um, so today is Witch Wednesday, and I'm gonna roll some dice, and we're gonna see what prompt we have today. And that is 106, which will be a gothic witch. And when I think of gothic witch, I think of southern goth, like the um, gothic south. Um, there was a there was a trend going around where people were doing. Um, gothic things on different areas and you have things like um, southern gothic, european gothic, college gothic and it was all very interesting to see how people can construe very normal things into something that's a little more um, freaky. Um, today's stream also won't be as long just because I am, again, am not feeling the best so please do excuse my low energy and how quietly I'm talking. So one week since let's uh, can't talk. So let's start. Um, I think when I think of gothic, I think of like corsets and lace. So let's we could do like a high waisted corset and um, I just. I really enjoy corsets. Um, we also... Is it like gothic? Or is it just like witchy superstition that... Um, well, no. It might just be because the people who wrote it were men. That women danced naked under the moon and had orgies with the devil. But we may never know. Because I do know some people who just are female presenting and female identifying who just say stuff like this for really out of spite and I, I think that's alright too. That's actually quite quite funny to me. Um, so let's do this and we can't have a witch without her familiar. I want to give her like a little hood. Um, nothing too big. Uh, should she have like should she have ornaments? Like, I don't know how ostentatious I want to make her. I kind of want to go classical goth. I'm going to look up some references. Hold on. Oh my gosh, they have crazy hair. You know, I kind of want to, like, I, I'm inspired off of Morticia Day, so I think I'm going to go do something a little like that, very slick and demi-fatale. Um, but if we're doing that, then I think we're going to get rid of the corset, and maybe alter the dress a little. She wouldn't have a hood at that point, I think, if it doesn't go with her um, dress. No, maybe not that. I should probably draw the figure first, just because it helps a lot. That way, if you look at that way. Maybe she's carrying a little lantern, just walking through the forest alone. Ooh, I kind of want to make like it be a crescent moon. There's just something about a crescent moon that's just so pretty. I don't know what it is. Mm. So, 
Um, oh, also the 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 music is royalty free from the uh, online music library, which um, really is a wonderful, wonderful resource for content creators. If you are like me and do not have money. Look that way. So you find her. Maybe she's walking and she's pushing away the brush. So her arm is in a little bit deeper. Hands up. Also, we can make her hand like a little more outwards, maybe. We do this. This is good. I kind of really want to do like those very curvy oil lamps. Like, I'm also taking inspiration from the terrariums because they're just they're just lovely. They're just so pretty, you know. Um, I have quite a few succulents and they're very, very sweet. Which sounds really weird because they are plants and they do not have any personality. That's fine, they're cute. Uh, I'm apparently not able to do much of anything today. Well, awesome. We're gonna stay positive though because it can only go up. Everything is. Yes. It is the night time, we can push the brush away from her. Um, maybe she's pushing away a tree branch. I can already tell I'm not going to finish this. It's fine. If nothing else, I'm just going to render the face and we can use it as my thumb. Hmm. I feel like at this point, this is in and of itself a challenge to finish a piece in an hour which is hard to do and i'm also not really the best person to do it from time to time well no I'm, it's a good challenge it's just not something that i would be able to do every single time i think depending on how complex i want to make it like if i wanted to make this just a a, a, a person um, i'll be fine but if I, if I, um, try to put a background, I highly doubt I'll be able to finish it. The allotted time. Let's put this one over here because it looks like it might start to get crowded. Maybe she's going through the woods at night and it's super creepy, atmospheric, being all, all shady and stuff. Okay. Oof, I'm not good with backgrounds. To no one's surprise. Let's see. You can't be a witch without your familiar, so let's put her familiar right here. Let's make it a raven. And of course this is going to be a very simplistic thing of what I think ravens look like because I also do not... Well, I have n not a lot of experience in drawing animals, but hey, we're all here to push ourselves, right? So it's fine. Um, ankle. Just wandering through the forest. You know, I don't like this pose just because it looks too meek, like she doesn't know what she's doing, but she knows what she's doing. She's been here all the time she's gathered things here often she collects her herbs here 
she knows what she's doing. So let's give her some more, a, a more confident stride. I think it'll help a lot if I gave her a less lean pose. So a more upright pose, like she, she, she knows what she's doing. Um, and she does, and I want to convey that, like she is familiar with this, she can walk with her back upright, and she's not like leaning over in confusion. Let's see if we can fix this. This is just a sketch, so I can finagle around with it as much as I want. Um, I think I want to change her legs because it's a little strange right now. So if she's facing this way, let's see the pencil, change the angle of her hips so she's facing that way, her hips should be straight upwards, and she's just, she's just walking, walking and talking. I guess this is like also a video to show that not everything always goes exactly as you planned, and that's okay. Actually, maybe she's holding the light up. Maybe she is. Maybe she's looking. Maybe she isn't really like just simply walking. Maybe she's looking upwards. Maybe she is trying to illuminate something in the tree lines. So let's make her arms. Um. this and we might hold it out like that. So the lamp should be right there. And her hand will be on her familiar. And the first thing I noticed right now is that the trees are much too small for what I intend for them to be. So we're just going to edit with that, play with that a bit. Because if you want to do that, then she's much too big for... Um, she's much too big, basically. There, there's not a lot else. Like, usually trees are much taller than them, especially in a forest that, that I want to convey to be, like, this is old. And it's okay to change things up because you can't ever know which ones are going to be the ones you like the most. And that's why iteration is so important and iteration is um, basically trying many different sets and stuff before you decide on something. Which is what they always tell you to do in art school and I, well in design school, I was in a fine art school and they told you to go with your instincts, but when you're not really sure what that instinct is, it's it's a little... It's not that helpful. Um, but if you do know what that instinct is, it can lend itself to some very interesting artwork. I am definitely not one of those people who had the innate talent to just know. Um, I definitely worked a lot on it at this point. I just know what I think is cool and so I just do what I think is cool and I think that's fine you know it's, it's okay art is made to share with people art is made to be happy well not as ex exactly happy but it's meant to convey something and if what you want to convey is joy and contentedness then that's fine Okay, now we can finally get to the clothing aspect of it. Oh! On second thought, I'm giving her back her corset. Why? Because no one can stop me. 
and there is no one here to stop me. But honestly, it's just going to be something simple because I don't want to make it too complicated. There's no need for me to make it too complicated. So it would be a black dress. And if you want to say that the dress is lap it that way first. Um, and then we want a behind, like something that goes behind the leg because oh that looks like the leg itself is fine. That's not right. We can do this and do that. And let's choose a darker color and make it look like it's fine. So if we say like her leg is reaching out this way first, we can blend the color back into the um, the piece and it makes it gives it an optical illusion that it is behind the person and that is a very interesting well not interesting but that is one of the more fundamental ways to really um, show and display really depth um, color and contrast is very good for this and that's why people sometimes just tell you like focus on contrast which is not wrong I think I want to give her like one of those classic metal hearts with the raven's peak. I mean the spider's... I don't know what it's called. Is it the widow's peak? There we go. And let's do like a very loose rendition of her hair. Um, maybe it meets up with her other parts, the back of her hair, right there, and let's do this, and she's looking up one, so we're gonna do that. What you want to do when you're looking up is that you have to really try at least to imagine what it's gonna look like, because when you look upwards, the what's going to be exposed is going to be the bottom of all of the surfaces that you have. Um, I'm not very good at this, so I think I'm going to go with a more, let's say, simplified, more stylistic kind of thing. Um, a more stylistic version of it, just because it's, it's, it's easier on me and uh, I really don't want to challenge myself today. So, and it's okay to have bad days. There's nothing wrong with that. And I'm going to stand by that. Okay. Let's do that. I kind of want that. Yeah, that's good. I feel like this is starting to become like a Hugh Ember thing, but I don't know. It does look very cool. And I kind of have a temptation to like trail this back. I really have or had a love for um, melding effects like smoke melding into the background or the person melting into their surroundings. I kind of want to do that with this one right now. Ah. My hand stuck. That was, that, that's what the weird noise was. Pardon me. Okay, I kind of want to do like her hat can morph into the moon, maybe? I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go. This is one of the perks of having art or doing digital art is that you can just go along with it. People would tell you not to do what I'm doing, which is creating images, but um, I do what I want. This is my piece. There are an infinite ways, an infinite different ways to make art, and I will make art how I want to make art, because this is a representation of who I am. Which I guess is kind of like classical 
artist tropes like oh self-expression is golden and I, I don't know about them it's not exactly tried and true but it's i would think a lot of people would agree those who are artists would agree that art is about self-reflection and i don't know there's just something really nasty about saying that you sold out and i don't think there's anything wrong with it because like capitalist society you have to eat and you have to survive but i don't <coughs> i don't know if people are necessarily happier that way but i can't be the one to judge because it's not my place and um, i don't think it's a lot of anyone's place to be in other people's business but that's also neither here nor there it is up to the person and we all can only do so much we are simply one person in seven billion and there's nothing wrong with that we live our life we can treat people we can if we try to make ourselves a goliath a type i don't know there's a chance for greatness and there's a chance for ruin. And I think this is just getting a little too heavy for an art podcast. This, this is kind of what it is right now. Welcome to an hour long of Jay just talking to themselves. This is why people have to be here with me. This is also getting a little self-deprecating, so we're going to move past it. So what I'm doing now is just blocking in some color and um, there's really not much in terms of what I'm choosing to do, but um, honestly fine. I'm going to, ah, no, I don't like that. down the saturation. Um. Let's take this, no, let's take this color and let's do the line art one. The background we can do later, but I want, I want the person to stand out. If you're drawing alone, tell me what you're drawing. Just tag me on Instagram at Elysia, spelled I L L U S S I A. Um, yeah. I think I'm just going to stay quiet now and draw because there's not much I there's not much else I can really do. Don't particularly feel like saying.
So unfortunately I have to leave. Um, it's getting quite late and dinner is about to start. So I will leave this here for now and I will leave you guys for now. Um, I will probably post this on another site, possibly Instagram. I'll leave the link down below. Um, so yeah, have a nice evening and I hope you all... I hope you all... Loving each other.